Hey there, guys. Um, at a little over a thousand, eleven thousand kilometers, just after putting a third chain on the current cassette. Hang on for a second here. So I'm going to call this a uh, 12,000 kilometer update. I'll just show you that 36 because that's a normal ride. So anyway. I'm on my third chain on this front sprocket. It's a SRAM apparently. And then this cassette uh, it's been on there, it's uh, 42 I believe, but my derailleur is still, she's still bulletproof. Anyway, so back to the story. Uh, I was getting some growling after that chain. I, ch I changed the chain. I got some growling and some skips. I checked all the checked all the parameters, uh, shifting parameters. Uh, thanks to Dottie on that one, and made some slight adjustments. And the growl persisted but it's gone now uh, that's when I took it into the warranty got a warranty issue with the uh, with the drive unit and getting a replacement getting that replacement is uh, nobody knows when that's gonna happen so Since I am addicted to the machine, I cannot stop riding. I do 30 clicks, as you've seen, almost daily. My knees and hips have been affected. There is a cadence pressure sweet spot. When you're, uh, if this happens to you, you can still ride. And uh, here, I'll show you this part. You can see, you can see the arm, but the uh, the sprocket's not moving. It's the weirdest thing, and it's loose as fuck. But it's not. It doesn't affect the drive side or the chain side. Anyways. Going uphill, no problem. Does not feel very weak or wobbly. Just it doesn't feel weak. It's just wobbly. The bike is riding well. Chain is seated and shifting perfectly. Believe it or not. Just wondering how much longer it will take until his arm falls off. But that's about it. Uh, it's an update. Other than uh, other than that. Uh, I'll do another one for the brakes, but just change the brakes. Cheers.